Hey guys, this is Mal. If you're listening to this, you are about to hear a super special sneak peek of our latest bonus episode, but fair warning, this is just a sneak peek. Don't hurt us. It's totally optional to subscribe, but if you're interested, you can check out our Patreon by searching Significant Lovers Patreon online. Hope you enjoy. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory stray? Happy Whirlwind Wednesday. We are. It's been a while since we said that. (laughs) (laughs) We are back with. This whirlwind of a couple, Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande. Quite the whirlwind. They really are a whirlwind. Mm -hmm. Yes. They were heading towards wedlock. Yes. Oh, they were the definition of a whirlwind. They were. And it's crazy because this is probably one of the shortest relationships we have covered on the podcast. But there's just so much to Uh say. So we're picking up where we left off with, I think three months into their relationship now wow as you guys remember where we left off previously they met on snl didn't really get together Mm -hmm. they both were in relationships pete was with kazzy david for two years ariana was with mac miller for two years both break up with their partners in the spring of 2018 and then suddenly get together in late may June, they get engaged after only 24 days of dating, and it's nonstop wow. updates every <laughs> single day. Highly public relationship, <laughs> highly chaotic, and they uh, get tattoos mm-hmm. of each other. Tattoos. She gets a tattoo of his dad's badge number. His dad was a New York City firefighter. He gets tattoos of the bunny ears from Dangerous Woman. It's wow. madness, and they're <laughs> madly in love. And so last episode, I had a few honorable mention adjectives that I didn't share oh, yes. with you that I was saving for this episode. Three more words <laughs> that I would use to describe them would be immature. <laughs> okay. Intense. And Intense. You know what? I'm going to say delicate. Oh. Oh, because I think sometimes these very intense relationships can actually be the most fragile. Yes, but they do say the brightest flame burns the fastest. Mm -hmm. They do. And easy come, easy go, they say. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes those cliche sayings are just the truest life lessons you need. (laughs) I know. Cliches. I do wonder, like, how, what are the real true ones? You know what I mean? A lot of them are, I think. (laughs) Sometimes you have to go through experiences to realize that. Yeah, that's true. Um, That always sucks, though, when you're like, oh, people have always said that. uh Like, why was I so stupid? Uh I'm trying to think of an example right now, but. (laughs) Yeah, you lose them how you catch them. (laughs) um yeah easy come easy go once a cheater always a cheater oh yeah i can't think of any i feel like i need a appetizer before jumping right into the episode (laughs) (laughs) an appetizer (laughs) oh yeah they say when you're not looking you find them when you're not looking oh you find (laughs) yeah there's plenty of fish in the sea oh yeah that's a tough one for me to accept (laughs) <laughs> let's see it's true yeah love is blind anyway anyway so now i saw you asked a i say you asked a poll is that for later oh yes this is for the episode okay all right so i feel awkward just jumping right into it you're gonna have to cut a lot of this out okay well, how about i say so mm-hmm. mel where did we leave off where are we picking back up in part two all right we're picking back up in august this is a big month this what is year is it august 2018 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. and Still in 2018. Yeah. <laughs> this is a big month because this is when Ariana's fourth studio album, Sweetener, is going to come out. August mm. 11th, Ariana posts a video of Pete naming his top five songs from her upcoming album, which I'm like, this is so effective this publicity like i we didn't quite (laughs) land on this in the last episode if we think it was a publicity stunt but so many of their coupley posts corresponded with press for the album it was Mm -hmm. huge um you asked people on our instagram right oh i did and the majority of people i think said that they didn't think it was pr let me check I know, myself included. Here's the I thing. don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it's PR in that it's totally fake, but I think it certainly helped. And you have to follow the money here. I bet Scooter Braun was, like, all about it. Let's see. Yeah, but don't you think, let's say she was single, wouldn't she be doing something, maybe just going out a lot or just being on a lot of shows or should be doing some kind of publicity yeah that's true i don't know the question is that was a relationship a pr stunt to me that makes it sound like it was fake but if you're asking did they use their relationship as part of her pr i would say yeah probably all right i will have to stop the episode right there thank you so much for listening to the teaser if you want to hear the full episode and many other bonus episodes you can find them on patreon you can search significant lovers on the website or download the patreon app it works a lot like regular podcast listening apps and we have tons of other couples on patreon to listen to So thank you so much for listening and supporting the show, and we'll get back together next week.